There are two brands that I found in separate locations that I never find, but I found them twice. In fact, one of them I found three times. And I don't know, should I tell you what the brands are now? Let, before I tell you what the brands are, if there were two brands, okay, not Vori, not Arcteryx, <laughs> but if there were two brands that you could pick right now to find twice this week, what would they be? One of these brands would definitely be on my list, I think. The other one, I don't know. But the brands are, wait, I'm just going to show you. <laughs> I'm just going to show you in the hall. I am excited to do so because I get to show you what is in here. This is bin stuff from like a week ago. This has been stuff from yesterday. This is, I, you've actually already seen that and that, I think, <laughs> but not this stuff. This is some Crossroads stuff and some Goodwill stuff. And then this is some Goodwill stuff that I want to show you too. So lots of stuff to show you. Lots of really good stuff. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just hang this stuff up and then we'll get into the haul. And then if we have extra time, which I doubt we will, I do have some things I would like to package up because it's Sunday afternoon. And if I could just get them ready to ship out tomorrow, that would be cool. So, all right. Let's get into it and get this haul going. Okay, it took me forever to hang up all this stuff. I have so much stuff. Look, this is like a packed rack. This is what I would love to get just done this week. This is my stuff for this week, but who knows? a lot so this solid portion I'm not going to show you because it's I've already shown you in at least two thrift with me's I'll link them up on the screen one was when I went to two Goodwills and the other one was when I found these new work pants this IRO dress so if you want to check those out up on the screen but the first thing we're going to start with is stuff that I've actually gotten at Crossroads I have gotten in a really good habit of one day a week my ritual is going to the bins and then I literally take the stuff I found in the bins, in the parking lot of the bins, put it in my bag for Crossroads, combine it with some older stuff that they passed on, because sometimes they take those things, and then I go straight to Crossroads and trade in and buy some stuff. So that is what I did, and so we're going to start with that stuff first. Okay, but actually, a little bit earlier in the week, in this past week, I ran into Crossroads because I needed to return something. It was actually on a Friday, and I just brought in the old stuff that... <laughs> I had sitting in my car and they took two things and they gave me $16 in trading credit for it. And so I did end up finding this J Crew. It's called the Block Print Quilted Jacket. This is J Crew um, Factory, but I still looked up comps and I think this is going to do really well. It's from like this year, I think, <laughs> like spring 2024. No, spring 2023. So it's one year old. But it's so cute. Look at that. And when I was checking comps, like every other listing, was listed like 80 to 100 dollars so i spent because of my conversion they had the sticker price was 22.50 but because of my trade in conversion i spent nine dollars and 34 cents on this so i was excited i'm excited to get that one listed because it's actually perfect for spring and then just yesterday i went again to crossroads i took in a bunch of other stuff that i found at the bins and they accepted nine items and gave me $90.25 in trading credit for it. And then I spent an additional $66.83. I decided to go the route of picking a few things that were priced up pretty high in Crossroads, but I think will perform really well. So the first is this Roan New Tag. Where are the tags? New Tag Car Coat. Um, I quickly looked this up in Crossroads and there was only one other one listed on Poshmark and it was listed, I think, over $100, like $150. So I decided to go ahead and pick it up. This is going to just be my second time listing Roan and this will be the best piece I've ever found. They had it marked up to $47.50, but because of my conversion, I spent $24.13 on this, which I think is a really good deal for a new tag. So... I'm excited to see how this does. It doesn't say how much it retailed for, but it does say it's the car coat. 
So it's medium. So happy about this. I am so happy to find this brand. It's gonna be my second time listing this brand too. And it is definitely a Bolo brand. It is Doen. The only other time I've sold Doen was when I found it at the Benz and it sold really well and really fast. This is called the Parker Coat. Really cute. I was like, honestly, I'm not even gonna check comps because if by some weird incident it does not sell well, the style, I'm gonna keep it. But it does. Uh, there are two listed on Poshmark right now for 250 and it sells around like 175 to 200. And this is the only one in a size small that would be listed. So it's really, really cute. They did have it marked up to 65, but because of my conversion, and if you're confused about what I'm talking about with conversion, I'll link a video I did recently where I kind of explain it and also share my spreadsheet, uh, which lets you do it really easily. Anyway, with con the conversion, my cost of goods was $33.02. So really, really good find. Definitely worth, if you find something like this for $33, I think it's definitely worth picking up. I. I think it would have been smart to even spend the $65 because hello, if it's going to sell for around 200 that makes sense. And then I check comps on this too. This is Anthropology, and this is a floral jumpsuit. All This is kind of a more rare style, and all of the listings on Poshmark were around $80 to $90. So um, I'll probably list this around like $70 to $80. And they had it at 28, and so my cost of goods was 14.22. And then the last thing I got at Crossroads was a pair of men's Lululemon pants. I honestly can't even find the size dot though, so I need to find that. <laughs> and if not, I might return them. I don't know. It's weird because I would think it would be right here, like in this little mesh pocket. Oh, is that it? No. This little mesh pocket on the inside of the main pocket, but can't seem to find it. Do men's items not have size dots? Oh, here it is. Okay, cool. Size 32. I'll, I'll be able to look up the style number pretty easily. But anyway, it was $24 half off. So 12 bucks. And then with my conversion, it came out to $6.10. So I don't know what the style name is, but I would pick up men's Lululemon pants for 12 bucks at Goodwill all day long. And I definitely picked it up for six bucks. So when I saw these, I decided to just go ahead and get it without checking comps. Okay, now let's talk about the brand I found twice this week, which I'm so, so, so excited about. So after I had a prenatal appointment on Wednesday, after my appointment, I had 30 minutes to spend at a Goodwill. Oh, actually, before I shared that stuff, <laughs> well, actually, no, no, no. Okay, so that was one trip I did this week. And then another trip I did this week, I think it was Thursday. No, it was Friday. Friday, I actually went to a Goodwill and I was going to shoot a thrift with me. Shot the whole intro, shot me talking in the store, shot me going through the dresses, found nothing. So I was like, okay, well, I guess I'm not going to post this video, which happens and it sucks when it happens. But before I was about to leave, I did find one thing. And so there was a reason I was in that thrift store at that time. <laughs> and da da da! This would be a brand that if I were to pick two brands that I wanted to find twice this week, it would be this one. And luckily I did find it twice this week. Zen literally thrifted this brand once. Found this blouse. I'm pretty sure it is a silk wrap blouse. It's a size 46, which I think is a larger size. And I got it for $12.99. So I didn't even check comps. Let's see. Is it silk? Mm hmm 100% silk. Beautiful. Beautiful, excellent condition. Blouse. So excited. And then earlier in the week, like I said, I had 30 minutes to kill at a Goodwill. And I found da -da -da! Suzanne. Here you can see it better on the back patch. So lucky. I will say, I think the denim probably is one of their worst performing categories by this brand, which is kind of similar to like Veronica Beard, etc. But the only other time I found Suzanne, Suzanne at the thrift store, I think, it was denim and it sold well still. So even though it's not like the best performing category, it still does very well. And I found these for $9.99. So size 30. Really, really cute. They've got a button fly. They're rigid denim. A really good style too. 
I found uh, three other things during that quick little thrift trip post prenatal appointment. <laughs> I think I might return this one. I need to check comps because I didn't have time to check comps in this store. But this is Oat New York, which I've sold once before. It did okay when I sold it before. This is like a wide leg crop pant, cute patch pocket detail on the back. It's a size 32, but I paid $12.99 for it, which is pretty high. And I'm not quite sure the resale value of this piece will justify that cost of goods. So I need to look it up. If I have to return it, it's fine because I have to actually return another item to that same thrift store. So from a separate trip. <laughs> So, and it's a good excuse. I love going to that particular location. So good excuse to go there. I went through some wear while I was there and I found this brand, which I have had never heard of, but it's new with tags. It's called Andy. And this is a size large, the Tulum one piece. They only had it at $7.99, even though it was new with tags. And I did look it up in the thrift store and it looked, comps looked pretty good. So I was like, $7.99, let's give it a go. Let's try it out. It's, it is the season for swimsuits, like I keep saying. And then finally, a pair of Everlane pants. And I am, there, there was a ton of Everlane skinny denim at this thrift store. I don't pick up skinny denim, but this particular style, I did look up comps. It's funny, I looked up comps on this, but not the oat pants. <laughs> These are called the straight leg crop. And they look like they performed really well. He's a size eight too, which is good. Really nice pair of black pants. But again, the patch pocket detail in the back. I did pay $12.99 for these, but I think they should sell well and sell quickly, hopefully. Okay, and then let's jump into my bin stuff. I found some really good stuff at the bin, so let's go for it. I'm going quickly because I don't have a ton of time. <laughs> I've gotta be home soon. So let's speed through my bins stuff. This was uh, my trip from a week ago. So the first thing is a new tag Wacol bra. I don't know if I've ever sold this brand, maybe once before, but I did look it up while I was in the bins and it looked like it performs well. And I love picking up new tags at the bins. I love picking up bras at the bins. New tag bra, great. I even looked up the size. It's a 32 double D and it looked like it did well. And in a new bin rotation, I found really great brand to find. It is Fairty. Two tops. One's extra small, one's small, and they are in this really nice gauzy cotton material. They're probably the same style, different pattern, but really cute organic cotton. I actually haven't sold a piece like that by Fairty, so I'm excited to see how it does. A great find at the bins. I was excited to find this. I've been finding a lot of this recently. I think I found it also at the bins another time and I need to stay and treat it. And then I recently listed a sweater that I got at Goodwill from this brand. It is a brand that is sold almost exclusively in the States at Anthropology. It's called Blank London. Really, really cute. I love the pink and green and then the contrasting print. It is a size extra small, but that's okay especially at the bins. And then the other brand I was talking about um, that I was so excited to find, I found it three times, twice last week at the bins and once this week at the bins. And I never find this, it's just so weird. Johnny was, this is a size small, and this is a really pretty eyelet lace blouse with embroidery on the side. It's a tank blouse, it's perfect for summer, perfect for the season we're going into. Look at that embroidery detail on the back, so pretty. So I was very excited to find that in excellent condition. This is something I'll probably maybe check comps on and I might take it to Crossroads if it's not doing well, but it's frame, size small. Really cute lace up popover style blouse. With these pocket detailing, it's kind of an oversized fit, really cute and really good condition. I'll probably take this to Crossroads. I don't know why I didn't, but it is made well. It's an embroidered blouse. I'll probably look it up and see if I want to sell it. Size small. And then I did find designer at the bins. I did, I don't, I don't know if this is a really good piece to find. Probably not. But Dolce & Gabbana top blouse. I don't sell a lot of designer y'all, but this has this bejeweled detail along the collar. 
this ribbon detail on the back definitely needs a good old lint roll and I think it is legit as holographic detail etc so I don't know I don't know really <laughs> don't sell Dolce and Gabbana so I have no idea what that's worth but I thought I'd go ahead and pick it up and try it out this is a brand that's been doing really well for me recently I think this is an older piece but I decided to go ahead and pick it up at the bins it is cost it's a size large which is great it's a silk back button back tank it's like an oversized long high low hem tank and then the front is this Heather jersey. So I did not check comps, but that seemed like a no-brainer piece just to try out at the very least from the bins. Billy Reed, a brand, a men's brand I really like finding. This is a polo. I'll probably price this pretty low. So just my motto for March is move it March. <laughs> so I'm gonna price things lower. I'm just try to move as much as I can. And I might do another just like uh, price reduction on older inventory and relist a bunch of stuff. This is, I don't know, I could have left this behind, but at the very least I could take it to Crossroads. Patagonia, it's a color block capoline men's top. I think it's in pretty good condition. Oh, it does have a snag there. So yeah, I think I'd be lucky. It's extra large to get 20 bucks for this, but if it's easy to list, I'll just go ahead and get it listed and see what happens. I am really excited about there are like three dresses that kind of fit in the same category in my mind uh, that I got the bins and I'm excited to see how they do because they're pieces I probably wouldn't pick up at a regular I would not pick up at a regular Goodwill but maybe I should be this is Lauren by Ralph Lauren it's a size six I actually looked up this dress and it looked like it performed well on eBay is this long sleeve faux wrap dress it's like a perfect career wear piece a perfect more mature style so yeah i was actually really excited to find that i would pick this up at a regular goodwill actually because i love selling boss hugo boss it doesn't sell super quickly but it does sell well because it's more career style and this is a really pretty kind of abstract print navy dress it's a smaller size but yeah it's just like a perfect career wear dress i am excited to see how this does it does have some flaws i think it is a vintage, you know, it has some flaws, but it's actually in excellent condition for being vintage. A vintage J. Crew, 100% lamb's leather, is that right? Lamb suede, kind of shacket. <laughs> it's like a, sh you know, shirt jacket, essentially. Really excellent condition. I mean, yeah, it does have some fading in places, but it's really, really nice. I need to look it up and see what it goes for, but I definitely wanted to pick it up. Honestly, I would keep it. I think it's really cute, but I don't need it. And then I found this two weeks ago at the bins, Acris Punto. I did check this out and it doesn't look like this particular style sells for much, but even if it sells for like 25, 30, I'd still be happy. But I list it low, move it March, here we go. <laughs> it is this like geo print cropped jacket what's the size eight which is good this is a brand that's new to me it is parker and ronin i don't think i've ever sold this brand although there is one brand that's kind of similar that i feel like i've picked up at the bins and sold but this is a really good piece for spring it is a pair of shorts board shorts really kind of short inseam men's swim trunks I looked these up, looks like they do pretty well, like I think 30 to 40. So excited to get those listed, hopefully they sell fast. And then I picked up three pairs of jeans that I just didn't look up comps, but I picked them up based off style. And this is a pair of Paige, which I rarely pick up, but these are high rise wide leg jeans in excellent condition. So I am excited to look it up. And at the very least, I would just take it to Crossroads if it's not performing well, but I think these would be performing well. They're size 27, really, really cute. In excellent condition. You know when things come out in the bins and they're like folded really nice <laughs> and you just know someone took care of these items. And also when they're folded, you know no one else has looked at it yet. And then I found two pairs of AG jeans. This is the aged denim, which I think does particularly well. This is the Phoebe vintage high rise tapered leg 
really cute kind of acid wash. I think, yeah, this is the one with stains, so I'm actually going to throw this to the side. And I have a plan to have a procrastination day this week. And part of that is going to be stain treating things. So put those there. But then I actually found another pair of AG that I don't think has stains. And this is the ex-boyfriend Slim. I think these are probably not going to be worth as much as those. But still worth picking up. They're also the aged denim AG size 27. Good wash. So I'm excited to find those. And then my last find from this bins trip was, like I said, another Johnny Was find. This is actually the first one I found. It's a pair of leggings embroidered. Isn't that so pretty? I've actually sold embroidered Johnny Was leggings because I got it in liquidation one time. These are in excellent condition, honestly. They're a size small and typically larger sizes in Johnny Was do better, but still a great find. Okay, and then Oh my gosh, I'm running so late. <laughs> Sorry, Matt. Okay, then my Ben's trip from this past week, yesterday actually. And we're going to start off with a bra again. I did look this up when I was in the bins. This is Tommy John, and it is the skin triangle, second skin triangle bralette. I think it's an extra large. Tommy John, I think certain pieces by this brand do really, really well. And this bra look like it, it'll probably do like 20 to 30, somewhere in there. So that was a good find. This is faded and has wash wear. So I could have not picked it up, <laughs> been fine. But I just really, really liked it. And it's perfect for spring, so oh well. It's Everlane size 16, 100% linen, button front crop tank. Isn't that really cute? It's got some fading wash wear. I don't know if you can see it. So I'll just disclose it and list as is and maybe list it low. I don't know. Should be easy to list too. Also, I'm going to, I decided just list this as is, even though it is pilled. I could spend 15 minutes going over it, but I'm not going to. It's smart wool. Size medium, just probably 100% wool. I can look like base layer top. And I didn't see any holes. Yeah, 100% merino wool. So I'm just going to list that one as is. Okay, I found two really good Eileen Fisher tops. The first is this 100% linen top, size extra large. Again, perfect for spring. And then the other one was this, again, Eileen Fisher extra large black knit top. Both in excellent condition, really good finds. I'm excited to get those listed. They should be easy to list too. This I'm also, I was actually just gonna throw on my sweater shaver bin because I have one of those. <laughs> but I think I'm just gonna list it as is. It is also Everlane. It's 100% cashmere, size extra large V-neck sweater. I think it's a men's. It's really, really nice, but it definitely does have some pilling throughout. So I could save it for next season and you know, spend some time sweater shaving it or just sell it for like, I don't know, $20, $30 as is. I don't know. I didn't check comps. I don't know what the value differential would be if I sweater shaved versus not, but I kind of just want to move it. <laughs> I don't want another thing sitting around. Again, I found Billy Reed. This is a nice one. This size large plaid button down. I thought this was really, really nice. We'll see if I can find the style number and stuff, but I was excited to find that and I was excited to find this men's piece too. I love selling men's. I really am just into it right now. It just seems to move faster sometimes. This is J. Crew Liberty Fabrics by J. Crew for J. Crew, which is a collaboration that tends to do well. This is a size medium. It is a short sleeve button down shirt, which is great. It's this really cute floral print, which again, spring. And then this, I, you know, Probably. I wouldn't be surprised if this is an older free people style, but I thought it was kind of on trend. It's this quilted, definitely bohemian print jacket with a hood, and it's a size medium. So uh, I, I don't think there's an OB number on the materials tag, which is a sign to me that it is an older piece, but I can just Google image search it and see if it comes up. Okay, I found two dresses by brands that are sold at places like Revolve that I never find here in Portland. I was just really excited to find them. In fact, 
when I saw this tag, I almost threw it back because I was just like wasn't expecting to see it. <laughs> and it's for Love and Lemons. This is the newer tag too. Let me show you. This brand I have not sold or found in so long. This is a size extra, extra small. I might be missing the slip, which is fine, but it is a lace and floral mini dress. So I don't know. I, I need to look it up and see how this does. And this brand I've sold before, but it's also been a long time. It's Nookie. It's an Australian brand that's sold in places like Revolve, like I said. And this is just a sheath cocktail dress, really nice. Certain pieces by Nookie are gonna sell for way more. I don't think this one will actually go for that much. It's probably older style, but definitely worth picking up the bins. I might have a hard time finding the style name because it is kind of a plainer style. Okay, when I was talking about like the three dresses in the same category earlier, this was the third. This is Calvin Klein size 18W, which is a great size. And it is this blue, like pleated dress really really pretty it's got all these seams throughout in excellent condition again a really good professional career workwear piece so i'll just put all those keywords in there and we'll see how it does it's a piece that i think could do really well on ebay same with this picked this brand up not too long ago as an experiment and did really well on ebay it's prairie underground i think this particular style might do well when i was checking and it is like a sweatshirt dress it's a size small which my other piece actually was too i think larger sizes might do better but this one is still definitely worth picking up at the bins it's hooded so i'm excited to get that one listed and i thought this was a really good piece j jill size extra large linen maxi dress in this really cute stripe print and then they've got it going you know horizontally on the top oh oh man i'm just now seeing that the zipper is all messed up dang it so that'll probably be a loss but anyway that was a good find <laughs> despite the zipper this is a really good find i think actually i'm gonna keep this this is nike size small good well wanted 20 bucks for this but it is a really cute jumpsuit. This mock neck detail, sleeveless. I think, yeah, I think I'm gonna keep it, but I haven't decided. And then I've never heard of this. It is nested bean, but I looked it up in the bins and it is like a sleep sack by nested bean or a swaddle rather. And this really cute fox print. Here's the little logo. And it seems like it will sell but like 20 to 30. So I'm going to try it out and see how it does. I do like selling things like that. Another thing I like selling when I find it at the bins is the bike wear brand Pearl Azumi. I don't pick it up at a regular Goodwill, but I like because I know virtually nothing about <laughs> biking. So I don't trust my knowledge, but when I find it at the bins in excellent condition. I like picking up. This is a pair of men's shorts. So we'll see how that does. I like picking up shorts right now at the bins similarly a pair of levi's 501 shorts these will probably sell for like 20 bucks but worth picking up at the bins another favorite bread and butter brand to pick up at the bins is nydj and this is a really good size 20 w petite there's a little bit of pilling on the inner thigh that I need to go over with a sweater shaver, but otherwise it seems like it's in excellent condition. So the pilling wasn't too extreme and there's not like fading or anything. So I was excited to find these. And then it's funny because I think I found the same style, right? Like at the Goodwill, is this the straight leg crop? I know this is the slim leg crop ankle. So similar style. This is Everlane, pair of pants, size four, black with again patch pocket details on the back in excellent condition so i was excited to find those this is the very first thing i found actually when i went into the bins and it is a pair of j crew size 12 i think it's a recent season a pair of plaid pants and i think it's wool too okay now i have to look it up it's winter 2021 yeah 66 percent wool plaid pants so obviously these are going to do better in the winter but i'll just still go ahead and get them listed and see how they do and then my last piece was the brand i was talking about earlier johnny was these are size extra large which is great however they do have some wash wear 
and fading, which I will disclose. They are a really cute pair of camo pants with embroidery throughout. So cute, very cute. Very excited to get those listed. All right, well, I'm running late. <laughs> I need to get home. But thanks so much for joining me in my bins and regular Goodwill and Crossroads haul. Let me know your favorite piece. And I'm excited to read what two brands you would love to find <laughs> if you could pick two brands. All right, I will see y'all in the next one. Okay, love y'all.